Praise the Lord and blessed be the name of the Lord God Most High, the King of all kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Precious saints of the living God, the Lord God Almighty bless you all this morning. Thanks be to God Almighty who was and is and is to come and who reigns forevermore. The great I am, the I am that I am, the God of all flesh, the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, our soon and coming King, the Lord of hosts, the God of all wonders, the God of all restoration. In his name this morning, I have the privilege to come your way and share with you on the morning glory word of exaltation encounter. And I believe that this morning, God has a word for us that God will speak to us expressly through the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. So greetings to you all. Uh, saints of the living God, uh, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, this is Pastor Samuel I.E. from House of Prayer for All Nations Ministries in Borehamwood, Hertfordshire, England, United Kingdom. May the Lord God bless you all this morning and may the glory of the Lord be revealed upon you. May the hand of God touch you wherever you are as I uh, declare the word of exaltation morning glory unto you i believe that there is no distance in the spirit god is able to do all things there is no barriers uh, when it comes to the power of god and to the glory of god and i believe that whatever you are as you receive this message and as you as you connect with your spirit into this message god is going to revive you the holy spirit will empower you uh, the presence of god will transform you lift you up and empower you to your place of higher heights in christ jesus hallelujah and so i'm grateful to come your way and to share with you once again on the morning glory word of exaltation uh, devotional message and i believe that god will use me as a vessel of honor to speak his word of inspiration unto you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God Almighty bless you all this morning. Thanks be to God that he has brought us and is bringing us closer to the end of this month. And I believe that as God has promised us that his restoration power will, will be revealed upon us, we will continue to have faith in him and believing in him and he will restore us fully in all dimensions and facets of our life in the name of jesus so the lord bless you in jesus mighty name by the grace of god i continue my message on the power of divine restoration and uh, as we have shifted under uh, the subheading which is called provoking divine restoration we've seen so many spiritual keys that helps us to provoke restoration to release god's restoration grace and power upon our lives and i continue and today uh, one of the spiritual keys that helps us to provoke heaven for restoration to be manifested upon our lives is the spiritual key of believing in god believe the spiritual key of belief and so today i titled the message believing in god brings divine restoration believing in god brings divine restoration hallelujah we are in our lives we need to come to the place of believing god believe is a spiritual key believing in god uh, uh, also means trusting in god believing in god also means having faith in god and so when we continue to have faith in god god has no obligation but for him to bring us restoration of all things that pertains to life and godliness in our lives and i pray in the name of jesus that may god increase our belief and our trust level and faith in him may our faith and our belief dimension in god be lifted to higher 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 pinnacles in the name of jesus hallelujah so let's have a word of prayer father in the name of jesus this morning speak to us through the power of your holy spirit anoint my lips of clay let me speak your oracles from heaven let this word be a now word that will edify us all to equip us as we keep believing in you for restoration to be manifested i thank you and i bless you that by the end of this ministration 
your word will empower us and lift us up to higher heights in Christ Jesus. In Jesus precious name hallelujah praise be to god forever my people of god the lord bless you this morning our scripture for uh, the message is found in the book of john chapter 14 john's gospel chapter 14 the verse number one through to the verse number 11 at uh, the verse number three john's gospel chapter 14 verse one to the verse number three hallelujah praise be to god forever let's hear the word of the lord believing in god brings us divine restoration hallelujah and i read the bible says in john 14 1 to 3 let not your hearts be troubled ye believe in god believe also in me in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so i would have told you i go to a place i go to prepare a place for you and if i go and prepare a place for you i will come again and receive you unto myself that where i am there ye may be also hallelujah praise be to god forevermore may the lord bless this word in jesus mighty name amen and amen people of god this is the word of the lord for us i believe so strongly that this word is talking about restoration of all things because jesus was speaking categorically to his his disciples and he was admonishing them to believe and to trust in god people of god if jesus spoke to the early church spoke to the early disciples and admonished them to let not their hearts be troubled because one of the things that tro- makes our heart to trouble is unbelief unbelief and so jesus came to the stage and speaking to the disciples and admonish and empower them by his word that let not your heart be troubled when our heart is troubled we we come to the place of unbelief when our heart is troubled there is no trust and confidence in god when our heart is troubled then faith is inevitable when our heart is troubled we are not in line with the will of god when our heart is troubled we tend to disbelieve the things that God has promised us and even restoration cannot be manifested. But I pray in the name of Jesus that whatever you are going through, uh, may your heart not be troubled. May the Lord give you grace uh, and power to overcome uh, your troubled heart in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because being in the place of troubled heart can lead into so many things there are so many things that can come out when our heart is troubled we make in a decisions uh, that is not in line with the will of god uh, we begin to do things uh, that doesn't comply uh, and that doesn't come in alignment with the will and the purpose of jehovah but i pray in the name of jesus that in this season of our lives may god strengthen all of us may god empower us all and give us strength uh, to overcome trouble-heartedness in the name of jesus may the holy spirit and his power and grace uh, grace us to overcome trouble heart in the name of jesus so jesus says let not your heart be troubled ye believe in god and believe also in me so jesus referred them to god first he said let not your heart be troubled believe in god he referred them to god almighty because he knows that his father in him when you believe in god all things will be restored upon you i came to declare to you uh, that may your belief solely be in jehovah lord god almighty for he is the lord god almighty the god of all flesh who is able to do all things for with god all things are possible receive the possibilities of god as you come to the place of believing and trusting in god receive divine possibilities receive divine miracles receive supernatural miracles receive divine activities of the glory of god and of the restoration power of god as you believe in god jehovah lord god almighty so jesus said believe 
ye in God and believe also in me. Then after he declared that they should believe in God, he said unto them they should also believe in him. Because Jesus and, and the Father is one. He said, I and my Father in me. Believe even not the works that I do. For even the works that I do, believe in my works. For it is the Father that has sent me. And the works that I do, I do it not of myself, but it is the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. I pray in the name of Jesus, as you believe God and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, restoration is coming to you. Uh, restoration is coming to your home. Restoration is coming to your job. Restoration is coming to your business. Restoration is coming to your finances. Restoration is coming to your marriage. Restoration is coming to this nation. As we continue to believe in God and believe in the Lord Jesus Jesus Christ, uh, may all restoration uh, that pertains to our life and godliness, may it be revealed and be manifested upon us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. So the Bible said, he said, let not your heart be troubled. Believe ye in God and believe also in me. For in my father's house are many mansions. You see, so what as he was admonishing them he knew what what was to what he has prepared for them he knew uh, the restoration that was in heaven that has been prepared for them i came to declare to you this morning beloved whenever we believe in god it is a sign of God uh, bringing all things in perfection in our hearts. Whenever we believe God, uh, we are telling God that he, he is the God of all flesh and is able to do all things. And when we believe in God, God has already made provision for us. So our belief is what unlocks the provision of God and restoration is being released upon us. So when he spoke to them and he said they should believe in him and believe also in God, his father, he knew what he was saying because he had already prepared better place for them. He had already prepared them a place of restoration where there is no, there is no anger, there is no trouble. It is a place where it's a place of peace. It is a place of hope. It is a place of eternity. He said, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Beloved, I came to declare to you that God has a better place for you and I. God has something greater and greater and greater for you and I. If we will come to the place of believing and trusting in Jehovah Lord God, there is a place of restoration even unto restitution that God has made available for us. I came to declare to you that in this season of your life, if you will lift up your faith and your confidence level and your belief in God, there are greater things that God has prepared uh, ahead of us even before the end of this year. God is about to do great and mighty things. Uh, God is about to blow our mind if we will lift up our faith and our belief in him. People of God, I came to declare to you that the God that we serve is the beginning and the end. He knows all things. The Bible says that he declares the end from the beginning. Before he does anything, he had already prepared. He had already made the provision. All he needs from us is to believe in him. Oh, Rabakata, may the spirit and the power of belief be released upon you. May the spirit of belief and trust in God be released upon you mightily in the name of Jesus. May the Lord give you the anointing of belief. May the spirit of belief and faith be released upon you now. In the name of Jesus. And so he said, And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you in, unto myself. And where I am, then ye may be also. This is restoration, even unto restitution. When we believe in God, 
Jesus is saying uh, that where he is, is, where he is going, when he comes, uh, we will be with him in that same place. That is a place of happiness. That is a place of hope. That is a place of tranquility. People of God, if we will stop operating in unbelief, if we will stop uh, complaining, but if we will come to the place of believing in Christ Jesus, he is able to do all things. And he is able to restore us fully of all things that pertains to life and godliness. I pray in the name of Jesus, may the Lord grace us all that we will come in strong faith and in belief. We will have strong faith in God and we will have strong faith in Jesus. For all things that pertains to our life and godliness uh, has already been prepared for us in that better place, that place of eternity, that place in heaven, that place where there is no struggle, there is no lamentation, there is no trouble, but it is a place of peace. It is a place of restoration, even unto restitution. Beloved, believe in the Lord God and believe also in his prophets and ye shall be established. May you be established in all things in the name of Jesus. May you be established as you keep believing in God. And in this season of our lives, may restoration be released upon us as we continue to believe and trust God. For it is at the place of believing God that brings total restoration of all things that pertains to life and godliness. God richly bless you. Beloved, share this word, propagate this word, spread this word that this word will be a spiritual impartation and a blessing to as many people that receive it through the power of the holy spirit in jesus mighty name god richly bless you amen and amen heavenly father thank you for the power of your word this morning i pray that let the power and the audacity of this word uh, enter into our spirit man let it cause us uh, and lift our belief level and our confidence level and trust in you to another higher dimension in you for as you have declared uh, that in your father's house there are many mansions there are many mansions which represents restoration even unto restitution i pray in the name of jesus uh, that as we keep believing you in this season of our lives may we be restored of all things may where uh, the things that you have in store for us in your kingdom may it be unraveled unto us uh, spiritually and supernaturally and physically and materially let us oh god be restored uh, of all things that pertains to our life and godliness and as we keep believing in you oh lord uh, let us oh god become strong stewards in you in jesus mighty name amen and amen father i pray for the sick this morning Touch the sick, heal the sick. I command sicknesses in the bodies of your people to uh, to subdue and to obey in the name of Jesus. I command spirit of cancers, growth, and tumors, uh, and all kinds of incurable diseases. Uh, I pray in the name of Jesus, uh, let the bodies of your people be healed. Uh, I command healing from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. And I decree the healing power of God to flow through their bodies. Let there be restoration of all things in their life. Restoration of their finances. Restoration of their marriages. Restoration of all things that pertains to life and godliness in the life of your people. And Father, bring us all to the place of divine restoration, even unto restitution, as we believe in you, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, for answered prayer, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Beloved, the Lord God Almighty bless you, and may you continue to stay in the place of believing God, and by so doing, all things that have already been prepared for us, by the Lord Jesus Christ, will be unraveled to us in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Shalom. Peace from God the Father. Hallelujah.